And who would have ever thought that using napkins could give a home accessory a hand-painted look? Well, it can, and here to show us how is the author of New Decoupage, Derwin Rice. Hello, Derwin. Hi, Cindy. I love your work. It Thank really you. is terrific. Thanks. And now you've used napkins. I mean, just about everything in the house. The shower curtain one time, napkins uh -huh. another. <laughs> well, you know, every time I take a, teach a course, somebody brings a napkin to class and they say, can I decoupage with this? Isn't it going to wrinkle? And I say, of course it's going to wrinkle. You're going to wrinkle. It's, <laughs> it's, it's okay to wrinkle. <laughs> make, make, make the best of it is, uh -huh. is the story here. So, okay. so I decided to uh, work on this project and uh, show you how to paint with napkins. All right, let's see the final result here so we know where we're going. Great. Oh. I chose a little napkin holder actually for this. Uh -huh. It's a wicker basket um, meant to hold napkins and uh, we just put two different really pretty napkins on there and uh, brushed them on. Oh, I see the, the, the fruit in the center and then the animal print on the outside. Right, that leopard print looks really nice. It does really look nice. like it's painted. Oh, fabulous. Okay. All right. So the first thing to do is choose your napkins. We already talked about that. Napkins are, um, they have a couple plies to them so um, you want to make sure you get that ply off and it comes it comes off really easily when you cut and position your artwork so I started in the center with this one and decided where I wanted it to go mm -hmm. and then I just take my scissors you know me I'm kind of casual I just kind of punch a hole there where I know <laughs> there's going to be that fourth corner mm -hmm. and then uh, I cut it out Okay. It's a good idea since you're working with these flimsy materials to get your materials all set up before you get your hands in the glue because the glue makes it wet and it's really easy to tear and you want to just make sure you've got all your stuff done beforehand. Okay. Is that a word? Okay, one more side. All right, because sometimes when I'm using spray adhesive or something like that, I, it gets my hands all sticky and I'm sticking to everything. Yeah, exactly. You see, and that made that ply come off. So I've got sure one did. piece of paper that's going to stick down there nicely in the center. Okay. Right, I'm going to go ahead and cut the sides the same way before we set up the basket and get it ready. And I had a choice here. I decided not to use that border. So just put it on there. Get an approximate size of how th big you think it needs to be. Uh -huh. This is not an exact science. It's a wicker basket. So if it doesn't come all the way to the edge or if it goes over the edge, who cares? Now, I'm curious why you chose the wicker basket to use as opposed to the flat surface of something. Well, honestly, it's, I went to the store looking for what I wanted to make, and this happened to be what I liked. So you, <laughs> you can do it on a flat surface. But the story here is sort of wrinkles are okay, so a, the, a wrinkled surface is what I want to show you. As I get do. older, I think wrinkles okay. are okay. So they got to be. There's no choice. <laughs> All right. Let me cut one more of these because I want to show you how you can wrap this around the corner. Okay. We've got time to do that, don't we? Mm-hmm. There we go. We want to see it all here. Cut that off. We want to be just as good as you are. Cut that off. Well, you see how easy it is. We're almost done. Mm hmm Okay. I've got my two pieces. I've got my three pieces. And I'm, whoops, get that out of the glue. We're not ready to glue, but you watch out for those for me while I look I at will. them. I will. I won't let them blow it's very away. very important since it's so thin, you can see through it, you know? Mm -hmm. You, uh, you want to make sure your background color is not going to bleed through. So this color is okay. It's pretty much the same, but this color is going to bleed through. So oh. set up your basket and prevent that from happening by painting something similar. This is a latex mm. enamel paint, and I'm just going to quickly paint the wicker. Uh -huh. Using a bristled brush, of course, because you want to make sure you get as much color in there as possible down into the wicker. Mm -hmm. Use a lot of paint. Mm -hmm. And then, let me just point out, since you're painting through wicker and it's got holes in it, it bleeds through a little bit on the bottom. I think it's a good idea to paint both sides of the wicker. That way you, uh, you have a finished look on the bottom and you make sure you get as much of the lighter background color onto the piece as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. It's okay. going to help the, the top part too to paint the bottom. Exactly. Okay. So let's let that dry over there and ready? let's move on to a piece that we painted beforehand and it's already dry and ready to glue. Okay. It's the same color so let's get rid of that so we don't get confused. I'm just using a white craft glue. Um, again, I like to brush it on mm -hmm. straight out of the bottle is about the right thickness that you need. Mm -hmm. Well. This has dried out a little bit because it's not in a bottle, so let's moisten it down a little bit. So you just dipped your brush in the water and... Yeah. Okay, that's good enough. Great. And you got to cover the whole area that you're going to do. Mm -hmm. And not to worry because it dries clear, right? 
So well, it's going to be under the paper, so... Uh, oh, I'm you, just thinking you could if you dry. splash it up on the sides. Oh, good, good, good <laughs> point, good point. Like I probably would do. Maybe not you, but I would. All right, and the paper's not going to contact all of it. It's just going to contact the top part of the wicker, so... You know, it might, you might feel like you're not getting enough glue on there, but that should do it. Okay. Okay, and then you position your napkin. And it's going to stick, so make sure you get it where you want it. <laughs> you don't have right? trouble. And then it's kind of floating around um, just with some water now. This is where you do the painting. Oh. You just lightly let the water press the napkin down into the wicker. Oh, isn't that terrific? You see how that works? Oh, yeah. Were you surprised at how that came out? Yeah, <laughs> I was. I was. <laughs> You don't even have to brush it much. If you brush too much, you run the risk of tearing the paper. Uh-huh. Now think of all the things you could do with this. You could cut it out and do your own compositions. There's so many pretty, pretty napkins now. You could do this on pieces of wicker furniture, pieces of non-wicker furniture. You oh, could do it on yes. your wall. So you're saying you really could cut out the fruit and then you wouldn't need to paint the back? Well, I wouldn't ground? cut I wouldn't cut them out you know, all the leaves because it'd be too flimsy. But I, you could paint the, a white background the same color and cut out, you know, circles, you know, around, including some of the field of the uh -huh. fruit, and uh -huh. then position them. And you wouldn't see the difference between the paper and the paint that Very way. Very nice. When Very you're working nice. on the edge of the basket, quickly uh -huh. I'll show you, you can you do the same thing, of course. I like There's the idea of doing a wicker chair. That would be wonderful with some of this animal print napkins. Mm. Your patterns, right. and what's interesting too, is that your patterns will match up. Like I come to the edge here, and when I go around onto this side of the basket, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can just, I don't, you know, that's going to be fine. Oh, just wrap it right just over there. Just wrap it uh -huh. right on around. Doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to look like it's been painted it's on there. It's going to look like it's been painted. And, you know, so you don't, it's really worry-free, this craft. You don't have to, you don't have to be too stressful about matching up lines and That's things. That's what I like about your projects. They look so intricate and difficult, but they are so easy to do. And it's, we're almost done. Look Two more that. sides. Okay. Look at that. Well, we want to take a look at your finished beauty over here. We could take another look at it. And did you spray it with anything? To... I finished with a coat of polyurethane just to protect it a little bit. But it's a napkin basket, so it's not going to get a lot of use. And, you know, two coats would be great. Well, I'm going to do a chair. You gave me a great idea, Derwin right. Rice. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. We'll be right back with more right after this.